Hi and welcome to another Thrifty Thursday where we show what we have bought for our crafting from the thrift shop, the op shops, um, even you know something you may have bought that is um, even new that's for crafting you can show us um, <laughs> all that sort of stuff so I'll show you the books first I've got some little golden books the fire engine fire engines to the rescue Dumbo this one's a cute one the brave brave cowboy bill this one's an old one this one One seventy-four. Uh, the shy little kitten, Cinderella, little golden book of dogs. These were all forty cents each. The whispering rabbit, my new baby, and Rudolph. So they were the golden books. I've got this book here. You can draw a kangaroo. Um, and it's a uh, pretty old book uh, what is it um, 74 first published in 64 and um, it's called you can draw a kangaroo and it's this drawing book like shows you how to draw a kangaroo plus it's got a little uh, verse about kangaroo look at the look at, <laughs> can you see the kangaroo someone's trying to draw <laughs> uh, well, it's like that. <laughs> got to give him some points. <laughs> it's got an emu. It's got all Australian animals. A kidna. I thought it was pretty cool. The budgie. Magpie. And then it's got a little poem to go with each one. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'd like to draw, do an art journal. Like, yeah, one day. So this could go in an art journal it's that one turtle cockatoo bandicoot brawger the groper <laughs> black swan <laughs> possum pelican yeah i thought it was an interesting little book this koala's cute That was that one. It was a dollar. Another little one. I view library. The frog. This one's got some beautiful graphics in it. Look at the start pages. Aren't they beautiful? I think it was like a. <laughs> it was sort of like a, a book. Um, one this time. I got more books than anything. Nice old graphics in that. This one's, that's beautiful, that picture. Absolutely beautiful. That would look beautiful on a cover. So that one. The Blue Opal. Now this is um true Australian series with the dolls in it. Um, this one was two dollars but I wanted to get this one to put probably put in my shell journal when I make one He's been taken with dolls. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, not sure what year. Hang on. It doesn't have a year in it. But it's pretty cool. Oh, I got this pop-up cat book, and I got this pop-up cat book it's only got a few pictures in it but I thought that could be a good addition to my cat journal just take the pop-up bits out and um, 
add them to a page. It was really cheap. The book, I think it was only 40 cents. So I might be able to do something with that. This one I was opting up whether to give it to Asher or not. But I like the little library card in the back. <laughs> no, I didn't get it just for that. But I will take that out. Um, I like the graphics in this. You know, over in the meadow, in the sand, in the sun, lived an old mother turtle and her little turtle one. Dig, said the mother. I dig, said the one. So we dug all day in the sand and the sun. This is a, um, a storybook that, yeah, that I would have liked. <laughs> what year is it? 73. And I found a crochet book. 10 granny squares, 30 bags. It was two bucks for the book, which is a bargain if you um, know how much um, crochet, nice crochet books are. So this will go in my um, personal library. Different crochet squares and making them into different bags. I love my crochet. I actually crocheted myself well. So it's true it is actually true what they say about knitting and crocheting that sort of stuff because um i yeah what i went through i picked up um a crochet hook and i crocheted myself well so true story all right now <laughs> this is the first shell book i've ever found down here in the op shops and it's a beauty look at it let's look at shells and shellfish i didn't even know this one existed it's actually part of a series but it's absolutely stunning stunning vintage book on shells so i don't know whether i could let myself cut this up um, it'll probably go straight into my vintage shell book collection, which I have a collection of. And this uh, says 1976. Yeah, beautiful old book. Absolutely beautiful. It says 20 cents up here. 29 cents. Then it <laughs> someone wrote 20 cents on it. And I got it for a dollar. <laughs> oh, crazy, isn't it? But it's all right. I'll go into my shell collection. Even a dollar's cheap for it. Something that's in good condition like that. All right. My first poetry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, my first picture book of poetry. This is a beautiful book. I love picking these up because you can just pop them straight into a junk journal, fold them in half, pop them straight in your pages. Look at that. See that those two pages will go straight in my shell album, shell journal when I make it. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. So that one says 19 fourth impression 1988. And I've got these two books, A Close Look at Elephants and Birds. I uh, just like the graphics in them. I'm not a real big fan of elephants. I was going to put the elephant one back, but I don't know why. It just sort of <laughs> stayed in my pile of books. But great graphics in here. And the bird one. I've got so many bird books. I just love picking up good bird books. I don't know why. I haven't even done a bird journal yet. I'm going to have to get in and do a bird journal. I love the eggs. love pictures of all the speckled eggs. When I was young, my brother used to collect eggs. And he had a, he had a big collection, like a big um, wooden box full of all sorts of bird eggs. And they'd blow them and, you know, see how many they could collect. And one day he fell out of a tree while he was collecting eggs. And he came in and he had concussion. He came in the bathroom and he was 
talking all sorts of crap because he had concussion but all just to collect these you know these eggs gosh beautiful graphics in here but look at the owl it's stunning So that was oh, 1976, would have been that one as well. Um, this one, kittens and puppies, I've been looking out, since, seeing as I've been doing this cat journal, I've been looking out for cat, cat books and there's not a whole lot out there. So I found this one with puppies and kittens, which will be good when I do <laughs> do a dog journal but there's the kittens on one side and the puppies on the other side so I have to decide which ones to use but that's a I mean it's an old book don't know what I haven't got a date in it and there's this one you can read about dogs so I've got a beautiful dog um, dog breeders book over there too, a, a vintage one. So one day I'll do a dog journal as well. Some beautiful pictures in here. <laughs> Pickle got chased by two greyhounds the other day when we when we were going for a walk, and they were, they were chasing for fun, but he he ran to them. They were looking at him, he ran to them, and then he crouched down in the grass and was watching them. And then he took off closer and these the two greyhounds they took off after him and they chased him like he was a little rabbit. Literally. And when they pumbled in pum they pumbled in and to stop him. And I said to the owners, um, oh are they race dogs? And she said, Yeah, they're ex race dogs. So they thought, you know, they probably thought he was a one of those racing rabbits, you know. <laughs> but they were they were fairly gentle with him. Picked up this beautiful Christmas carol book for fifty cents. Very retro. And it's got all sorts of songs in here. Which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So one day when I make my Christmas journal, look at that, isn't that a beautiful picture? There's quite a few Christmas books out, um, but I'm a bit picky what I get concerning Christmas books. They have to really appeal to me. And I love this one. Look at the picture in it. So this one is what? I can't even see a date in there. But it'd have to be 70s. Have to be. Beautiful. And this last one is um, The Country Diary of Crafts. Now, I've said online here that I've found two or three of these over the time and haven't bothered to pick them up because they don't have a whole lot in there that you can actually use. Um, this one was fairly cheap. That's the only reason I picked it up. And the only... I mean, I guess you could use the pages in a craft journal, but the only pages that... I would be sort of looking at to use are um, the start you know these pages so there's one for every um, month in here so you got December November October 
they're the only pages that are worth doing anything really in here that's why I've sort of balked at getting it over the time so I still haven't found my own copy of um, the country diary but one day it'll just plop into my hands which I'm not too worried about anyway I think it's a bit overrated if you ask me everyone goes mad on it when there's so many other books out there that are just as beautiful oh, where's the July one the July, the July one's pretty the dragonfly the June one so you know out of it you're going to get 12 good good sized pictures that have got to do with the country diary and you get the odd little picture like this in it that you could maybe use as well oh, it's a lot of craft in May May it's a cute one with the the eggs and the nest April March February and then January so I caved in and got it just to get those 12 pictures out of there. <laughs> uh, there's, um, these are a pack of um, writing pads. They don't have pictures on them, they're just writing old vintage writing pads. That one has, I think they're envelopes in there. Yeah, fold up envelopes, but the patterns are quite pretty on a, on that. And there's some envelopes in there. This one's from Avon. My mum did Avon for many, 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 many years. <laughs> did quite well at it too. Now, I've got some linen to show as well. There's, um... Pillowcase. <laughs> Wondered when it was going to um, clear up. So there's a pillowcase, retro pillowcase, another retro pillowcase. And I really liked the look of this fabric. It's actually a I think it's a Duna cover or a yeah it's a Duna cover but it's got this all the way along it it's got a seam and I think that would look nice if you you know um, tore that out and you could use parts of that in some slow stitching so I really like that I picked that up. And then I got some doilies. So that was one. And there's just that little bit there that needs finishing. I've probably got that colour, so I could probably finish it. But there was that was a set. Which was quite pretty. Got some pretty doilies this time. There was another. Um, and these ones, this is all. Yeah, this is all crochet. Aren't they beautiful? So I've got two of them. This one. This one. two beautiful blue ones a 
the blue one. This one. Um, there's this set. So it had that and two little ones with it. That's a path into a garden. There's this one. This one's beautiful. This one's beautiful. Look at the fine work on that. So pretty. Yes, this one, this larger one, oops, is that the right way? This is the right way. This larger one, the tiger lilies on it. There was two of these ones, a cream, like a, almost a white colour and a cream one I liked them ones What's this one Oop, wrong way I like putting these ones on the inside of journals so that's why I picked these two up today there was this set which is stunning and it's got two two with that and it's this set it's the autumn leaves and it also had two with it It's this beautiful one and there was this one you know um, paper a plastic bag still on the paper beautiful cut work and that one like it's stitched uh, stitched on what do you call it applicate on so they were the doilies um, for other bits and pieces I got um, some of this memory foam stuff now I used to have a piece of this years ago years and years ago and it was blue back in the day but it's the sort of stuff that you um, it's a star and a circle and it's the sort of stuff that you heat up you heat it up with your heat tool and you put an impression in it like a doily or whatever and then it stays like that and you can stamp with it or um, you know stamp with it on your jelly plates or cards or whatever and then you wash it off and heat it back up and it goes flat again so I mean it's, they've been around for ages they just sort of everything sort of comes back around after a while and rears its head again in a different way so that's that was them. I'll put it in the bag later. Um, I think that's all. Yeah, I think that's all. All right. Um, if you're new here, I would love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Click the bell button to get notifications give me a thumbs up that really helps my channel and i appreciate every thumbs up um pop me in a message i like to read your messages and i, I love to answer them um say hi thank you to all my old subscribers um yeah when you see my video pop up in your little thing check it out and um see what i'm up to it's just started to rain here we've had some beautiful days of um Ah, spring weather and now we've got it all this rain back again so 
anyway. We will survive. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> I'll catch you for a new video real soon. Bye.